Hello. NDEP is a comprehensive educational program which provides for a holistic approach to the problem of drug abuse. It was designed to enable all sectors to work collaboratively with the school system as the core. Here with us today are representatives from Department of Health and Philippine National Police. May the freshness of this morning keep, you, keep your mind fresh and calm during the National Drug Education Program Virtual Symposium with a theme promoting a drug-free campus and lifestyle. I am Maylin Tostumban, your host for today's activity. And reminding everyone to please bear with us as we settle, as we settle, please. So, as we are about to begin, please, please be on your comfortable place with a strong internet connection. I have a few housekeeping notes for to make before we get started. So I would like to seek your full cooperation in completing this webinar. Keep, keep your background or environment free from distracting elements so that you can concentrate. Look for a quiet place. Always mute your microphone if you are not the speaker. If you have any questions during the presentation, please type them into the comment box or comment section. Once again, please be on your comfortable place with strong internet connection for in a while we will be properly uh, formally starting our webinar. So let us begin this morning session by taking pride of the Filipino patriotism by singing our national anthem to be followed by a prayer via via multimedia presentation.
to our dear participants, thank you for being patient with us. To confirm your attendance, kindly follow the link. Oh, the link provided on how to confirm your attendance. Um, we have now a new a new system for the attendance. So, so we we from the division office can see if you have really participated or not via oh in this webinar because it is again it is system generated it will automatically close and open for login for pm na po, no? for the pm session so for the roll call of participants may i call in miss raifa domato Thank you, Ma'am Maylin. Good morning to all participants acknowledging the presence of our school administrators and the BKD school focal person. And since I cannot uh, individually call you, I'll call individually na lang those who are on school health section personnel so that you may also know your, resp uh, your respective district nurses from your district. Acknowledging also to our uh, guest speaker, Dr. Tristan Labitad from the DOH and Police Lieutenant Ruiz G. Cabilian from PNP. So I, may I start calling uh, district nurses to please acknowledge your presence once you're name is called and your pictures is pressed and so acknowledging here with me is uh this is oh my god this is introducing you dr michelle t Veles, our new medical officer three a new new member of the family of school health section she just started last august 2022 doc good morning Dr. Celia C. Subiri, our dentist two and WINS coordinator. Good morning. Good morning, Dr. Celia. Dr. Melvin C. Inerio, our dentist two from Region Two. Good morning, Dr. Melvin. Our very own uh, NDEP coordinator, Sir Dryden Klee A. Samanigo is here with me. So Sir Klee, kindly wave your hand and he, he is beside me. Our SPFP coordinator, Ma'am Kim Rose is able, is not here with us because he is on maternity leave. Our very own COVID-19 coordinator, Ma'am Catherine A. Putis, are also here with me. Hi, Ma'am Kat. Good morning. Good morning, Ma'am. Good morning, everyone. Okay. Of course, me as the coordinator of the rabies, tobacco, dengue, tuberculosis, and renal, also in the warming. Good morning, Satanan. Uh, our mental health. Coordinator, ARH and Gulayan sa Paralan. Ma'am Febe Jean is mapande. So kung na may mga problema, pwede ra mo open up sa iya ha. Good morning, Ma'am Febe. Good morning, Ma'am Pat. Okay. So our Balui and Linamon District, Ma'am Hidaya P. Ali. Ma'am, good morning. Ma'am Aya. Our Balui National High School nurse, Ma'am Noroline B. Bauti. Ma'am Noro. 
Good morning, Pat. Good morning, siya everyone. Pinaka, morning, siya ang pinakabata sa among, ano, sa among the nurses. So good, Ma'am Pat. <laughs> si Ma'am, our Miss Pantar, Tagulwan District. Ma'am Alet Marie, G. Pamanay. Ma'am Alet, good morning, Ma'am. Good morning, Pat. Good morning, everyone. Our Mr. Bacolod Kauswagan District Photographer, Sir Jed Christian Makapobre. Ah, she is on leave. Sorry. Our Miss Po Napiaga Po Matunggao District, Ma'am Nihaya Maba. Ma'am Nihay, good morning. Good morning. Kung, kung gusto mo mag-order o kasaba o chocolate cake, pwede na daw sa iya, ha? Banana cake pa yun. Our kuan, Zumba. Miss Zumba, Queen of Zumba. Ma'am Rosie G. Alcesto from Maigo National High School. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So kung gusto mo magpakanda ko o Zumba, pwede rin ninyo siya i-coordinate si Ma'am Rosie. Okay. Si Ma'am Raisa B. Sultan from Maigo. And Munay. Yes, yes, yes. Hi, Ma'am Rai. Si Ma'am Munina Nakario from Kulambugan and Tangkal District, the only PhD nurse from the district. Ma'am, good morning. Ma'am Munina. Okay, wala siya. Uh, Ryan Agoncillo from the district. Muhammad, yes sir. Jay Bungaros from Kulambugan and Pantauragat district. Sir, yes sir. Good morning. Oh, he is in Cagayan de Oro. Siya ang na-incharge ng nurse dito sa Conchita. Okay. From ang negosyante ng division district from Tubod East district. Ma'am Janet A. Ibarola. Kani daghan makita ni mo ani Good morning, Ma'am Pa. Good morning, Good morning everyone. <laughs> mga sabon, tanan-tanan. Hey. Wow. So, Good morning, Ma'am. Good morning. Our Fafa P. Piolo Piolo version from the division Salvador District. Good morning. And Good morning. Tubod West, Sir Greg B. Dimpas. Si Ma'am N.N. Learni May Villabuna, our district nurse from Baloy, Baroy and Lala North. Ma'am N. Morning. Morning. Morning, Ma'am. Our Miss Magsaysay from Magsaysay District, Ma'am Claire Shinami M. Uyog. <coughs> She's presently leave as of this moment. Para maila-ila po ninyo siya, single and available. Si Sir Hope Earl Balugtod from Lala National High School. Sir Earl? <coughs> si Maria Claudette Rabago from Lanao del Norte National Comprehensive High School. Ma'am Dit? Good morning, Ma'am Dit. Ma'am Pat, Claudette, raday na ako ngalan ha. Ah, Claudette. Ah, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Thank Claudette. you, Ma'am Pat. Pero muna kung gusto okay. na pangalan po hon. Okay. Sige, sige. Si Ma'am Merli Sulay from SND District. Ma'am Merli, good morning. Hello, good morning, Pat. Yape po, Masopin National High School. Okay, okay, Ma'am. Sige, Ma'am. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Si Ma'am Mercy Campo, ang tennis player ng Kapatagan National High School. Ma'am Mercy, good morning. Good morning, Ma'am Pat. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Ma'am Pat. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Ma'am Pat. Si Ma'am from Salvador National High School. Good morning, Ma'am Pat. Good morning, Good morning. everyone. Good okay, morning. Good morning. So, Ang unika iho ng Sapad Nunungan District, Sir Jasper Damayo. Sir Jas. Ang Queen of Kapatagan District, Ma'am Maylene B. Twastumban is here with me also, which is, she is our MC for today, Ma'am. Okay. 
So that's all our district nurses, our school health personnel. So my buntag sa tanan, and I hope you will enjoy in this webinar. Thank you. and um, stop presenting. So once again, thank you, Ma'am Rai, for that comprehensive roll call. And again, reminding all our participants who have not, who have not cast their attendance, we are very sorry to inform you that the system has already closed. So you can log in for the PM. PM, no? Pero maka-time out sila. Maka-time out sila. Oh, ah, pwede na, di ay. Si, bahalag wala mo naka-time in. Sa time out na lang mo later, pwede. Oh. Kaya naara ba siya checklist, no? Na wala ninyo na sudlan. Kung naka-time in mo, pero wala gapon mo ka-time out, pwede ra. Oh, no. Ah, okay. O, oh, sige. If ever na-close na, na ang kuan, ang attendance for the morning, pwede na lang mo mag-time out and then pagka-afternoon session na po, mag-time in na po mo again. Sige, anak na lang kayo. Ubay-ubay -ubay ang mga ga-PM nga. Wala sila ka. Sulod. <coughs> mm -mm. Sa mga succeeding. So, Pesa. Oh, so based on the the in, new instructions, this will be the the new way of signing your attendance. Dili na katong watching from ana i comment lang ninyo. So na system run for for webinar nga attendance. All webinars ingon ani nagid atong system. So maganad nagid mo. Okay. So let's now proceed. We are very blessed with a beautiful morning today to officially start our orientation. We are we are very pleased to have our ever dynamic and bubbly SGOD chief Dr. Maria Carmela T. Ablin. A virtual applause, please. Thank you so much, Ma'am Maylene. I'll be Aye. speaking in behalf of ah, okay. our SGOD chief. Okay, Sir Jong. Thank you. So my respect to our school's division superintendent, Adelberto Leonis of Linaria SESO 5, our ASDS, Dr. Rosemary Toled Macesar, to the two chiefs of the functional divisions, SGOD chief, Dr. Maria Carmela Tumpong Ablin, and the CID chief, Dr. Maria Eva Sayre Edon. To our AO5, Sir Armando B. Pasok, APSS and PSS, PSDSS in attendance of this virtual platform, division office personnel, school administrators, NDEP BKD school coordinators, teachers, friends, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuhu. We always believe in the power of the youth, for our learners are the hope of our nation. So we continue to strive in giving them the best of our services because we believe in their potentials of running the country in the future. But how can they run the country if they themselves have gone astray? How can they be effective leaders in the future if they are destroying their lives today through drug use? We know that drug use among the youth is back these days, even in our Borok. I have heard of teenagers going back to this detrimental disease of our society. And so let us help our learners develop a drug-free lifestyle in all aspects of their life, at home, at work, and during their leisure hours, and help them connect with good people that would surely accompany them to a better path. 
This is the very reason why we are all gathered here virtually for this National Drug Education Program Virtual Symposium. With the theme, Drug-Free Campus and Lifestyle. Youth drug abuse problem has long been a deep concern of our society. Indeed, there is a pressing need for us and for the community to join hands to curb the spread of drug abuse. So let us rally together in stopping the harmful use of drugs. And in behalf of our SGOD chief, Dr. Maria Carmela Tumpong Ablin, I welcome you all to this virtual symposium. And may we learn a lot today and use this knowledge in creating a drug-free society, a drug-free Philippines. Once again, good morning and mabuhay po tayong lahat. Thank you, Sir Jong, for that warm welcome. We have here with us is the is our is our ASDS whom the entire Dapada Flano del Norte can lean on. And now let us lend our ears to our very own assistant, schools division super, sub, superintendent, Ma'am Rosemary T. Masesar. Around uh, virtual applause, please. Okay, so a uh, happy Thursday to all of us. So, attention, uh, I am just uh, as usual, a spare tire in every activity that we have in the death. And I was just informed that I will be giving the message uh, a few minutes ago. But anyway, um, um, although, um, of course, my respects to our school's division superintendent, uh, Dr. Edilberto Oplinaria, to our two chiefs, uh, Ma'am Maricar Ablin and Ma'am Eva of the CID, and of, of course, uh, the SGOD family, especially the school health section, who is the, uh, the section behind this uh, webinar, and um, our uh, attendees to this webinar, Ladies and gentlemen, once again, happy Thursday. So um, although we thought that the drug abuse problem is already a passe or has slowed down in our society, our schools in particular, I would think again, cause up to now, this is still very much a headache in our society. Otherwise, we will not be having this webinar today. And I think you will all agree with me, especially since after the pandemic, although during the time the uh, when, uh, during the time of the pandemic, um, morag ni medyo ni slow down ang problema nato sa drug abuse because uh, the, the the children are in uh, inside their homes. But um, I think um, some uh, were um, were were not able. Uh, we're not disciplined by their parents, so that is why uh, na some indulge in this uh, um, vice because uh, they have uh, nothing to do. But there were some uh, uh, who were prevented from um, using these uh, illegal drugs because um, they were uh, at home only and their parents uh, kept watch over them. Uh, now, this online activity is very relevant and very welcome to all of us in the department. Um, the theme is promoting a drug-free campus and lifestyle. If we want to have a drug-free society, um, I believe that we need to have a drug-free, it has to start with a drug-free campus and lifestyle. Why? Because uh, it is in the schools wherein uh, we can reach out to many, many people in this, uh, in particular, our learners. And hopefully, uh, our learners can also cascade it and share it to our parents. If not, uh, we can also organize a webinar or a seminar wherein we will also uh, educate the parents so that the parents will also um, know about 
these things that we are talking about and uh, they can also at least uh, spot with it whenever their son or daughter is into um, illegal drug use or if not some of the parents might be drug uh, users you mean i mean uh, illegal drug users so at least um, uh, we will do our part so that they will not be able to influence their children with their um, vice, which is um, taking in illegal drugs. So we have been offering this uh, um, seminar or talk in the previous years about um, anti-drug abuse or drug prevention mga seminars. And in the past two years, the like webinar ta. So we have been doing this every year, but still we wonder why the drug abuse problem is still very, very relevant. Uh, prevalent, sorry. Um, so I think uh, we will not be surprised because up to now, ng mga mga drug lords na naay mga mga drug tanang mga pushers who, who will try to convince and to lure and to tempt uh, our learners uh, especially those learners that are very vulnerable I mean, who has, who are these vulnerable learners katong mga learners na problematic so um this is an easy escape on the part of those learners na problematic because ang kaning mamaligya magud sa drugs they will they will ano it, um they will market it as if you take this drug or drugs or if you take this let, let, let's say shabu wala imong problema so mo na nga we are still having this problem even in our schools so that is why um, we in the department should never get tired of campaigning or pushing for this advocacy to, ha uh, to have a drug-free campus and lifestyle because until such time nga mawala na ni god willing um dili kita makura og sige uh, kanang push for this a very noble advocacy. Let us start it in our own homes, as uh, in our own backyard, in our own offices, in our own schools, because we will never, we will never know nga sa atong own na tukaran, uh, secreto lang ang labok, somebody is into drugs, illegal drugs, kaya isa hay dili pa man na madetect. And um, so, Hopefully, through this um, webinar, uh, we will be able to continue with that advocacy of a drug-free campus and lifestyle. And um, to all the participants of this webinar, um, let us not make it uh, a habit to cascade the, the whatever things that we have learned from our uh, resource speakers. Uh, just karon lang mga month or november kay usually i from what i know if i remember it right ang uh, drug prevention drug prevention month is november am i right kay dungan mo guna sa values education month yes, so yes no okay so ato nang him let us make it a year round advocacy and if ever we have a chance um, maski dili sa school, um, akong i-share whatever things that we know about this coming, having and promoting a drug-free campus and lifestyle. Ako nang i-share sa, sa atong mga students, especially during light moments. Um, light moments, uh, dili kinahanglan nga formal na setup na nag-seminar ta, nag-webinar ta. But during times when we get to talk to them in a casual way, and then kung naasilay ma mention na something uh, we're in, pwede ka maka come in and push for this advocacy.
In fact, recently we have incidents of drug by bus in our very own locality. And to recap what the NDEP is, it is a comprehensive educational program created to provide a holistic approach to the problem of drug abuse. It has been designed to enable all sectors to work collaboratively um, to solve this problem. These sectors are namely the LGUs, other government organizations, and non-government organizations at the local level. The main aim of NDEP is to prevent drug abuse among our students through the development of desirable values, attitudes, and practices. So without further ado, let me give back the floor to our MC to formally start the program proper with our guest speakers. Good morning again. Thank you, Dr. Michelle, for giving us a clearer view of, for, uh, of today's activity. Now that we are all geared up for today, we would like to recognize and acknowledge Ms. Catherine Gay Putis for the introduction of speakers, speaker rather, for drugs and its ill effects. Thank you so much, Nurse Maylin, Maylin for uh, introducing me. Okay, so our first speaker for today's webinar is from the Department of Health. His childhood and teenage years were mostly spent in Kulambugan, Lanao del Norte. He is also a registered nurse and a graduate of Southwestern University in Cebu for his Bachelor of Science in Nursing. After his pre-medical course, he decided to pursue medicine at Matias H. Aznar Memorial College of Medicine and successfully became a registered physician in 2018 thereafter. His cravings for professional growth never stopped. As a matter of fact, he got himself enrolled at Finma Education and graduated with his graduate studies, taking up Master's in Government Management. 
Currently, he serves under the Department of Health as the Regional Head of Non-Communicable Diseases Cluster of DOH CHD Northern Mindanao. Regional Head of Mental Health and Psychosocial Support Services Emergency Operations Center of DOH CHD Northern Mindanao and an Associate Professor of Liceo de Cagayan University College of Medicine. Fellow health professionals and everyone in virtual attendance, let us all warmly welcome Dr. Tristan Jedaya Viado Labitad to discuss to us about the dangerous drugs and ill effects. Good morning, Doc. Buntag sa tanan, sound check, kumadunggan na ba ko? Yes Hello? po, Doc. You are audible po. Yes, Doc. Oh, okay. We can hear you Mom, po. Thank you so much for that very humbling introduction. Um... Uh, Again, no, uh, dako na kong kalipay sa bagong higayon na pod with the Ed this morning, this week. Actually, we just finished our discussion or topic on mental health and stress management last week. For today, for this week, I am tasked to deliver the ill effects of drugs, no? to our schoolers and teenagers, the youth, even to us adults. So officially, I would like to welcome you. This is the ill health effects of dangerous and illegal drugs towards drug-free communities for grade schoolers and the youth. Substance abuse and mental health disorders, such as depression and anxiety, they are closely linked. No, although one doesn't necessarily directly cause the other, we need to say dili kinahangla naapod ang duha, no? makaapiktar ang isa. Abusing substances such as marijuana and methamphetamine can cause prolonged psychotic reactions. While alcohol, on the other hand, it can make depression and anxiety symptoms worse. Next slide. <music> Click pagyod, ma'am. Click pagyod. Click pagyod. Click pa more. Okay. I-click na siya tanan, ma'am. No? It is good to know that a healthy me is drug-free. I would like to ask our participants, no? Which path do you want to go? Especially to our learners present today. And I hope we have learners present today, no? Uh, not just our nurses and our teachers. Next slide. Next bagyet. Okay. Drugs. D-R-U-G-S. Do I really understand what I'm getting into? Stop and think. Alcohol and drugs are often used to self-medicate the symptoms on mental health problems. This is in connection with the previous uh, topic that we had last week. No, People often abuse alcohol and drugs to ease the symptoms of an undiagnosed mental disorder. Now, to cope with difficult emotions, or to temporarily change their mood. Now, unfortunately, self-medicating with drugs or alcohol causes side effects, and in the long run, often worse as the symptoms they initially help to relieve. Abi nilag makaalibyo ng drugs o alcohol nila with their symptoms. Next, alcohol and drug abuse can increase the underlying risk for mental health disorders. Now, since mental health problems are caused by a complex interplay of genetics, no, interplay niya sa genetics na to, sa environment, and some other factors, it is difficult to say kung ang abusing of these substances are directly causing them. However, if you are at risk for a mental health issue, na na kay mental health issue, abusing alcohol or drugs may push you over to the edge. Meaning to say, mas maka... Uh, padala pa ni mo, no? Ang kani alcohol or drugs, especially kung ano kay mental health issues daan. For example, na ay ubang evidences nga gaingon na those who abuse opioid painkillers, kani mga painkillers, no? Are greater risk of depression and heavy cannabis use, kaning mga uh, marijuana, kaning cannabis, use, no? Has been linked to an increased risk of schizophrenia. Kung inato pa no, sa layman pa ng schizophrenia, ang pagkabuang, no? magda o increase sa risk ni mo to schizophrenia. 
alcohol and drug abuse can make symptoms of a mental health problem worse. Mas mo worsen pa dahil kung siya kung ga alcohol and drugs ka. Actually, it is not only limited to alcohol and drugs, pati ang tobacco, no? Maka-add up siya sa sa negative consequences of your mental health. Substance use may sharply increase symptoms of mental health and or trigger new symptoms. Abuse of alcohol or drugs mag interact sila with the medication that you're taking such as antidepressant, anxiety, anxiety no, nga mga tambal o mood stabilizers ng mga tambal making them less effective kung ga drugs o alcohol ka at managing symptoms and delaying your recovery. That is why we really discourage uh, patients or individuals with mental health disorders or with any mental health concerns nga na ay mga gipang inom nga tambal nga mo take og alcohol o drugs, no? Nga na ay gipang maintain. Or in general, per se, no? Kung atong naon-naon, dapat kung na ka ginamintain nga tambal, dili yung ka mag-take og alcohol dili yung ka mag-drugs o kanyang mga illegal drugs or illegal substances like marijuana, metamphetamine, cannabis, no, mga inana, and even smoking. Okay, maka-inhibit ni siya sa real function or the major function good of the drugs you are taking. Next slide, please. You should know. Next. Methamphetamine. Ay, back pa, ma'am. Napay back. Napatay back, ano? Huwag na-click siya tanan. Ah, okay. Sige. Kato na dahil siya, ma'am. Hello? 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 Oh, hello, Doc. Okay na ni siya. Or okay, inex ko na ako. We're, we're lucky na hide na sliding. Alin ako, Ana. Okay, thank you. Next. Mm, Ano siya ang previous, Doc? So, ano ni? Oh, yeah. Okay, kana siya nga slide, ma'am. Okay, okay, okay na. Okay, okay na. kana siya nga slide. So we should know and we should be able to understand, no? What is drug addiction? Drug addiction, this is a disease that affects a person's brain, imong otokono o imong behavior that leads to an inability to control the use of legal, both legal and illegal drug or medicine. Because I, I said uh, last week, you know, there are really drugs or prescription drugs na ginaabusaran gihapon o take sa mga individuals because they think nakarelieve sa ilang pain or they think na mas makahatag pa nila o uh, increase dopamine level no more sag na high, feeling calm, mas energetic ayo sila. Substances such as alcohol, marijuana, nicotine, and uh, are also considered drugs. Now, drug addiction can start with experimental use. Mone siya sa atong mga learners, bitaw, kanin mga kabatan unang, diha magsugod, no? Curious. Uh, peer pressure, no? Experiment, experiment of the use of these recreational drugs, no? In social situations. And for some people, the drug use becomes more frequent una tilaw pa lang daan, eventually, mas nalamian na. So, consistent na ang paggamit ani ng mga substances. Now, for others, particularly with opioids, drug addiction begins when they take prescribed medications or medicines and receive them from others who have prescription. Katong uban nga na prescription no, dito sila mga yung prescription drugs nila, kay uh, di man sila gatake yun ato, ba't nalamian man sila so, imong friend, who friend, na amadae kay kuandiha, no? 
taga iko ano in prescription drugs di no so usually in an drug abuse or disorder people with substance use disorder uh they usually progress from experimentation experiment tilaw tilaw to occasional use and they have then to heavy use dayon una tilaw tilaw sunod occasional lang eventually heavy user na gid sila sa kaning mga drugs this progression is complex and only partially understood. Now, the process depends sa interaction between sa drug, sa user, o sa setting niya. Sa environment, maybe, no? Kay, again, balik ko na to, dako impact or dako factor ang environment. Addiction liability depends upon a combination of factors, no? Including, tanawo na to, no? The route of administration. Yun sa siya, gihit-hit, gi-incheck, gi Gitilawan, gibutang sa dila. The rate at which the drug crosses the blood-brain barrier. Maybe you can uh, click next, ma'am, kay para makita ang ubang koan. Makita nila ang ubang uh, figures. Yes, click pa more, ma'am. Okay, the time and onset of effects, the ability to induce tolerance and withdrawal symptoms. So these are uh, the combination of many factors no uh, sa addiction now in addition to that substances that are legally katong be prescribed or readily available readily available on some readily available na to in the market alcohol and tobacco no they are more likely to be used initially no sa sugod pa lang ang buhat sa mga kabatan unan di ba sigarilyo sigarilyo we can really see teenagers senior high junior high no even kani mga grade 6 gani no ng sugod nag inani because of their exposure environment set up pa lang daan nila so una mo tilaw tilaw pa lang sa tabako panabako no sunod so, alcohol no they are more likely to use this initially and increase the risk of progression and become a problematic to stage na dayon further as perception of the risk in using a particular substance diminishes na ay mga subsequent experimentation and or recreational use of the drug, increasing exposures to substances of use, na ako ito ay gitawag na fluctuations in perception of risk. They are influenced by multi-factors, no? multiple factors, including findings regarding the medical and psychiatric sequelae of the use and social outcomes. So, diha na to makita pa lang sa description nga wide kaayo ang range sa drug addiction. Next slide. Next slide. Next pagid na. Okay, that slide. So as you can see, the immediate health effects of dangerous and illegal drug use are the following. Makakosyag increase heart rate, which can give you more than 100 beats per minute. So for a normal adult, it's garin siya ginatong heartbeat to 60 to 100. But beyond 100, that is not normal anymore. No, Maybe kung exercise ka, pwede. But on a normal state, no, galingkod lang, kawak kila yung gibuhat, no? So this is something atong it take into consideration. It could give you as well a decreased blood pressure for those taking cannabis, no? Kaning makaba decreased blood pressure nimo, increased heart rate nimo, mo ni siyang uh, an increased blood pressure, mo ni siyang for the use of meth, meaning increased tanan. Thus leading you or predisposing you to stroke, heart attack, no? And other vascular diseases nga pwede maapektahan ang mohang lawas. In the next slide. Na po'y pangutan na rin, Dok, pwede ni mag-heart attack di ang mga kabatan unan? Yes. If you've seen report, di ba, uh, kanin mga ga-overdose of drugs, nangamatay sila. Because these are the effects of these drugs. Kung masubrahan sila, mag-increase ang blood pressure, mag-increase ang ilang heartbeat, no? Ma-heart attack sila, mang buto ang ilang mga blood vessels sa ilang kasing-kasing. Bantog mga matay sila because there is overdosage of the use of these drugs. In this slide, 
usap po di ay sa makakos ani niya makan increase wakefulness and alertness that is why you can see individuals ilabi na kaning uh, sa occupation palang da ano occupational medicine you can see health worker and uh, not health workers but kasagara gagamit ng illegal substances to keep them awake are unsaman si kinsaman ang mga oh nagiingon din hi nga doctor nga tapad nako in siya mga BPO kasagara ani na do dili tanan ha but na i really individuals na gag work sa BPO industry nga gagamit ani kinsa pa man kani mga drivers no mga sika driver mga habal-habal driver sa big cities na ano yung mga nanote nila unsa pa man taxi drivers mga truck drivers kaning kadlaw mag drive no kani mga delivery truck in any sil to keep them awake increase concentration ko no but eventually kung aware of na dai effects sa drugs you should know and be able to understand nga di naka alert wala na kay ability to concentrate ang focus nimo gubot na kaayo the euphoria and intense happiness is only temporary no at the time being lang nga gagamit ka ani nga drugs It can also increase your blood pressure, or body temperature. The dog nga nung mo hilanat mang ka, dili literally maghilanat, but mo increase. There is elevation of body temperature. Why? Because pas pas imo heartbeat no tanan imo sympathetic effects sa lawas ni mo diha na ng gawas. So nag increase na ang tanan. Look at this one. Oh, others lost their appetite. No. Ah. Ang uban increase ang appetite, ang uban mo increase ang pain threshold, dili na masakitan. Bantog tingali kaning mga gipangbuwagan no kay kuan magamit na tingali ni sila mga 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 illegal substances because para increase ilang tolerance, para increase ilang tolerance sa pain kay nasakitan na sila kay o oh, ingon man din hi o oh, nga increase pain threshold kung magamit ang cannabis. Then, maka-increase respiratory rate, daily cough production, and frequent chest illness. Nung usa sa mga epekto sa mga magamit o mga illegal na droga. In the next slide. Next click pa, ma'am. Okay. Click pag yun. Ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, this is the drug use in the Philippines, no? Next, pagid ma. So daghag before there's executions sa other countries. No, if magamit ka drugs, din hisa ato a pagkapriso. Next slide pa. So this is a very sad truth, sad reality nato din hisa set up nato ah sa Philippines. No, abak pa ma. Mao na ni siya. Ah okay, this one. You can oh look at there are children who are involved in the illegal use. Ah, pwede po mag Pusher sila, no? Sa kanilang magkanalain ng mga illegal substances, and this is the reality. This is happening sa ato akarong dinis sa Pilipinas and the rest of the world. Next slide. Ay nakiklik pa mam. See, look at the numbers. The real numbers in the Philippines here for kato sa mah. Kato ng 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 picture back. Because I want you to see the involvement of children in illegal drug activities. These children are rescued during the anti-drug operations. Tanawa ninyo, this is year 4, okay, from July 1, 2016 to April 30, 2021. Look at the difference of the figures because later on, nata itanaw sa year 6. But look at this one. So, for ages 4 to 17, So these are your students. These are your pupils. This could be your sons and daughters involved, or this could be your sons and daughters victims of these uh, illegal drug activities. In the next slide, my next click, panimu mam. Well, eventually, mga priso yun ding tanan, no? Mga priso yun ang tanan. Next slide. Look at this one. That was year four. This is. Year six, children involved in illegal drug activity. Unsay may nahitabo after year six. This is from July one to twenty sixteen to May thirty one twenty twenty two. This is very latest data na ato ang gipresent karon. Mi increase ang children involved in illegal drug activities. Makabalakan niya, especially sa ato ah we are teachers, we are ah. Uh, professors, no, we are involved in molding these children. But look at the data that we have right now. Me increase here from 3,600 karon, no, karon to iga lang ni. 
4,414 ang children involved. They are children who are pushers. They are cultivators. They are uh, drug den maintainer, visitor of a drug den, drug den employee ng mga bata, clan lab employee, user ng mga bata, runner, uh, possessor. No, These individuals, these children are also fall uh, victims. They fall, fell uh, victims of these illegal drugs, which is makabalaka git kaayo sa ato ang end. Because we have a great responsibility for these children. Yet what's happening right now is really, really uh, uh, giving a negative impact, negative impression to the learners. No, um, Sakit kaayo. Boto na unang unsa man nga klase nga kinabuhi na ani mga 4,000 nga mga bata nga ga-involve man sila ani nga illegal drug activities. And the source of this one is the FIDEA. No? This is the Philippine uh, data of children involved in illegal drug activities. In the next slide. So this is the value seized drugs no? and laboratory equipment. So the worth ni Daku Kaayu daghag ganigusyo ani no uh, daghag politician should i say involved as well allegedly daghag prominent na mga individuals allegedly no because what unsa may makita na to ani dako kaayo shad value oh these are the seized drugs no with all the paraphernalia equipment etc so dako gyud kaayo ni siya nga scope no sa cocaine pa lang nakuha 503.24 kilograms ecstasy 163,000 Marijuana, 10,000 kilograms, so daghan kaayo. So nakakita na to ang scope, ang magnitude ani niya, meaning to say, dag ko, daghan kay maapektahan ni ini. And it's very high time na to ang uh, i-discuss ni siya. Actually, dapat kanunay na to ni siyang pag-istoryahan because uh, every day, ang exposure sa bata sa environment outside of the home and outside of the school no taas yung exposure ani nila so that is why it is uh, very needful for us uh, and to them as well no kabatan unan nga we should really educate them next slide questions na ako upat ka questions diri ang pwede to bago so, kanisya na mga adult, mga teenagers, no, atong youth, mga kabatan unan. This is just answerable with a yes or a no. Next slide. Unang pangutana. Naabay mga higayon na kailangan ni mo gamyan sa imong paggamit sa illegal na droga. Yes or no ang tubag ha. Naabay higayon na may instance na kinala ni mo paggamyan ang imohang paggamit sa illegal na drugs. Yes or no. Next slide. Next question. Ikaw ba'y galagot ko ang mga tao gasakay sa imong paggamit ay gasaway sa imong paggamit sa illegal na droga? Maglagot ba ka kung saway yun ka nga huy undangin na na uy, no? Ingon kasi mong mamagpapa, no? Huy, undangin na na or si Ma'am Fernalin ingon si Ma'am Fernalin sa iyang bana huy kanang unda na gamit og drugs diha maglagot ba si Ma'am Fernalin kung inanaon siya badlungon siya yes or no next slide ikaw bay ni bati og pagkauwaw mauwaw na baka or makonsensya na baka no sad-an sa imong paggamit sa illegal na droga so si Ma'am Fernalin kay gibadlong naman siya sa iyang bana no so ma feel conscience ba siya or nauwaw na ba siya bati na ba siya kauwalan mo ka drugs ko so kauwaw ko ah ni yun is sarap no inana na ba mo gibati ka ron so you actually you can ask these questions to your students yung mga senior high students niyo or junior high students no kay of course, katong mga kuan pod. Actually, kanin siya nga questions pertaining na magini siya sa drug use. But we don't know, mga good, no? We don't know. So, uh, dapat ato ang i-assess ang tarong, no? Ang ato mga estudyante as well. Kay kuun sa ba? Yes or no in the next slide? Naabay higayon sa paggamit sa droga. Una ni mong ginabuhat sa buntag. 
So, moto na abay higayon sa paggamit sa droga una nimo ginabuhat sa buntag. So, pag mata pa lang nimo mo ay mo unang ginabuhat, no? Ginabuhat nimo Next slide. Next slide. So, two or more yes answers may indicate a drug problem. Okay? But if less than two ay mo answer, you are safe. Or, kasagara... Kamu mo puting aling tanan, no? Kitang tanan wala gagamit. But these are just sample questions under cage screening tool. Kung saan yung cage screening tool, no? This is a personal assessment for substance use. Okay? Pwede ni siya, that's why, kasagar, ginagamit nato siya sa kanang mga na-admit sa mga kuan, facility, uh, ginagamit ni nato siya for adults, no? Kanang mga kasabot na, especially po katong mga na-exposure na to drug use. Um, it is not a formal diagnosis. Dili ni siya formal diagnosis. It is simply a preliminary assessment. Formal diagnosis requires a thorough assessment sa end evaluation by your physician, by the physician. Now, CAGE, acronym ng CAGE, okay? C for cut. Bantog ka mga questions na opat mo ito i-correspond niya. C for cut. A for annoyed, katong kalagot baka, di ba? Guilty, katong nakonsensya baka. I, motoy, fourth question na to sa I, katong pagmata pa lang nimo, gagamit na baka, no? no? After the cage assessment, if you personally assess yourself using cage questionnaire and uh, you find that you may have substance dependency, unsa may buhat to nimo next, la doktura ba kung score Kala dok three should talk to your doctor. No magpa-assess, recommend evaluation by a psychiatrist, psychologist, or a drug counselor for that matter. They will then work with you on an effective treatment plan. Kana kung daghan ka pero kung safe ka one way no score or zero, then you're in the safe zone. Okay, next slide. Okay, this is uh, the five year. There was a four, there was six, and this is a five years, no? So, nagkahinahinig increase kung makita na pa ang datos. Next slide. So, these are individuals who fell prey on drug use, no? So, under the Republic Act 9165 and its implementing rules and regulations, or this is the Comprehensive Drug uh, Dangerous Drugs Act of 2002, click pa, ma'am. You can see that drug use is penalized as minimum six months. No minimum six months of penalty niya, while drug selling is penalized life imprisonment to death. So that's basing according to the Comprehensive Dangerous Drugs Act of 2002. Next slide. Next. Okay. Are you familiar with this close-up event? No. This uh, the drug scene. No, a year after the close up for uh, forever summer party. So makita na to kani mga dagko nga mga party, mga concerts, no, naagi mga uh, recreational drugs na ginagamit niya. Thus reported no daghang gagamit og ecstasy ani nga panahon katong uh, summer party sa close up. So daghang nga dakpan, so mao na siya gyud no. Sa sugod pa lang gyud pag mold nato sa mga individuals sa mga kabatan una nato. Ato ang yung tan-awon no. Ang ilahang kaugmaon kay diha gyud magsugod ang tanan sa ato uh, while we are still more molding these students, these pupils. Dapat dili na sila ma-expose ni ini ng mga illegal na droga kay eventually mga dagko ni sila na they will become victims of their actions as well next slide okay let's talk about health now next slide okay methamphetamine and cannabis on some ni methamphetamine or shabu commonly known methamphetamine this is a very potent central nervous system stimulant stimulant is the key word here this is mainly used as a recreational drug recreation party unsa gusto mahitabo unsa gusto batiyo nila no and less commonly as a second line treatment for attention deficit 
uh, second line treatment, huh? less common, okay, less commonly as a second line treatment for attention deficit hyperactivity disorder or ADHD and obesity. If nakadugog mo, di ba, ka ng mga pampaniwang nga mga coffee, pampaniwang nga mga pills, kung kisa mga gatik, di ha, na ay portion of it nga na ay met methamphetamine. Ngunang, nang, dadali, okay ka naniwang dahi, unsa yung mag-iinom dahi, no? si mga fernalin, unsa kay gitik ni mga fernalin. Basing gatik ni si mga fernalin o mga pampaniwang nga mga pills, no? So, na atin siya component of methamphetamine. On the other hand, ang cannabis or marijuana, common kay ni sa atong area di ba Lanao del Norte if i remember way back in high school na ako'y classmate na 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 influence pod ani but i am really discouraging our students our pupils ani no kita pod because marijuana this is a psychoactive drug no from tanom ni katong iyon pa lang nga five fingers no native ni siya sa central of south asia no kita pod diri na taan sa ato ah. ang cannabis plant has been used is a drug for both recreational and if uh infugenic purposes ka ng uh, panggamit kami to nila no sa kanila mga tribo tribo and in various traditional medicine for centuries in other countries marijuana is legal no even pa ni Catriona uh not just for recreational but for medical use ko no even pa si Catriona di ba pero in other countries legal siya as medicinal but in the Philippines dili gid gihapon siya legal no no matter uh giun sa panatog fight na siya mamahimo siyang kuan because daghan paghihapog uh, uh, arguments ka nganong dapat dili siya mamahimong uh, legal din sa atong dapit no as part medicinal. Next slide. Next slide. So, i-click-click lang na siya, ma'am, ha? In the next slide, what can you see? Ito may component ni Annie na drugs. Sa drugs, no? Sa shabu. I-click-click lang siya. You can see battery acid. Back sa, ma'am. No? Na ay battery acid di siya. Na ay tuluwin. Na ay uh, denatured alcohol. Makita niyo niya sa picture. Na ay acetone. O sa pa, na drain cleaner with sulfuric acid. So, would you take the substances? Kani silang tanan? Sa isa kasuyok ni mo, gisuyok po ni mo ni nga mga components, no? Mga corrosive, mga delikado, nga mga substances. Pero ibu ka pong Oh, so na dapat ma-realize na ito lang. These are just some of the components no, of these drugs. Next. Kaganina, we had the poan. Uh, but karon the ill effects of dangerous drugs, no? dangerous and illegal drugs. In the next slide, you will see pictures. No, I want you to see nga, kung magamit ka of drugs, Mabati imong nanong, dry skin and acne breakout. Tatanawan imong tapa diha. Kinsa na yung mga ga-acne breakout, no? Bas, sin, gagamit na ng mga illegal, pinagbabawa na droga. Just kidding aside. But, no, from a very pretty face to a very chaka na face, sumusugot ka na inaani yung mamahimo ni mong itsura. Next slide. Drugs can as well. Next slide. Next. Okay, this is a body meth, no? Or meth body. So, tanawa na imong tapa diha, pasi inanin ang lawas, no? But ay, uba na, nga natural, nga niwang yun sila, no? Mga ina, di pati nga li inanin ka lawas. Muna yung kitawag nila kalansay, no? Kalansay na lawas. Muna nila sila skin and bone. Kung tanawon, kay very distinct ni siya for individuals who are really taking the illegal drugs, no? Addicted na sila sa mga illegal na drugs. In the next slide, makita na to if there's a meth body. In the next slide, there's a body or meth face. Look at the face. Next, pagin ma'am. See, mauni mga nang mga itsura sa mga gagamit o meth. Look at this one. So, transitioning of her face from a Re uh, recreational user, hanto na nahimo siya, occasional, hanto na nahimo siya, addict yun sa paggamit sa drugs. So, din hindi mo makita, no, ang hugis bigas. Nakita, nag-iyahang, <laughs> cheekbone, diha. So, would you want to have this kind of face? 
no? So don't be a zombie, be a drug free. So kids, no? Individuals, ma dapat na to makita nga dili ta kanahan ani ni nani atong maitsura ti chaka kaayo next slide in the next slide one of the ill effects as well of drugs okay you can see a brain of a healthy person meth abuser and meth abuser as well, 14 months of abstinence. Makita ni mo siya, no? So, makachaka-chaka gud siya. Nag-recover siya, recovery di ay. Recovery of koan, this person. Next. Next slide. So, may nana na, no? Dilita na, no? But mostly, ato makita nga may individuals nga naasa street, kanilang mga street dwellers, may nani na sila, ilang kinabuhi. Would you want your students, your pupils, to be like this in the future? No, we don't want that. Do you want your kids to fall prey on the illegal drugs and become like this? No, we don't want that. Next, click pa, ma'am. Yes, as well, no, ang paggamit sa illegal na doga, makalid into psychosis. Sa layman pa, mabuang na yun ni ang individual. That's why bitaw, no, no nabuang na yun ni ay sa paggamit sa drugs ay shabu-shabu mangkod. No, in, ana. in the next slide, makita po na to. Click pa, ma'am. Picking for bugs under your skin isn't normal. But on meth, it is. No, sige lang kag-pick. Kaya nahimu ni mga ritual. Daghan na kag-hihuna-huna. Ang sa mga katol, daghan na kag-lain gibati. So, kasi kag-katol-katol, maski wala kay bedbag, di, nga nga daot, imong panit. Tsaka na kaayo. Next. Ang sa pa mamihitab ko tayo ni mo. There is, ang sa mga siya, auditory hallucination. Na na kay madungo, gahong-hong ni mo, maski wala gahong-hong ni mo. Uy, kuha na si Kuha na na. No? May mga ina na ang mga whispers sa imong brain. Because ang functions sa imong brain, wala na nagkadimao. No? Naana yung mga abnormalities sa transition of your synapses sa imong brain. Naana kay madungog na dili na mo madunggan. Next slide. No, daghan na kaayo. So basically, the physical effects... Pati gito ay sa look at the nipon and the gums of this individual. So, tanawa ay mong tapad. Pangisiha, no? Ipasmile. Tanawa, ha? Smile tayo. So, sure, gikuha nga. Wala ko gagamit. O, map. Kaya, ha? Nindot kay ta nipon, no? Care of the Balais Dental Clinic. So, ingon pa din, he, no? Na ay map mouth and map teeth. Tanawa ni mo. Pati kaayo ang nipon sa individual. Tanawa ay mong tapad. Pangisiha. Pangisiha. Kay, kay murag lami kaayo o oh, ang ihang ngipon. So, ganang kamutsula mo, kiss, inani nga ngipon. No? May ganit na ibalais dental clinic kung aha ko karon no? Kay pagwapaho ng atong mga ngipon. So, bisita niya mo din sa clinic ni Dr. Balais. Okay? Next slide. O, gwi, ginuoko na ay muriatic acid. Tanawang niya, ganahan ka, no? Because of the muriatic acid component. But saka imong ngipon, So, kung gusto ka mo gamit o drugs, naamang kay muriatic sa imong CR, katuna lang hit-hita ang muriatic. Di ba? Ang muriatic acid, makasuffocate siya ang baho. Ilabi na ilimpyo na niyo sa CR. No? So, di lang itaganahan, Ana. No? Nga, component mo na natsaka imong gums, imong ipon, na brittle na, na inanay nag-itsura, o severe tooth decay. Kung yung ginoo ko. So, lisod na itusok ang veneers, Ana. Kaya wala na tangtanguno na tanang. No? i-implant na yun ni imong ngipon if ever. Next slide. Ah, di ba? Smile. Tanawa yung imong tapad, ma'am. Ma'am Fernalin, tanawa na imong tapad. Kung inani yung magipon, no? Next slide. Okay, there are other health consequences. Bang, AIDS. Dok, magka-HIV. Di ay, dok, kung magamit o drugs. Next slide pa, ma'am. I-click pa, ma'am. No? Muna, kids, learners, adults, to teachers, nurses, you should understand na nga nung magka-HIV or other infection, ang person na gagamit ng drugs, i-click pa, ma'am. 
it can cause hepatitis as well. Nga no man, nga no magka-hepatitis man dok, gagamit og drugs. How? Through, next na po, click pa ma'am. Click pag yun. So makita ni mo, no, ang other health consequences ni liver hepatitis. Kaya nga no man, no, aside sa uh, kilesen niya ang imuhang immune system, ilabi na for those individuals na gagamit o injectable drug use. No, kaya naging pang-inject. Tanawan, B, tanawan ni mga siko sa imuhang mga ka- siko. Siko ba'y tawag? Ano yung kanyang diri? Basta kanyang siya nga part. <laughs> kanyang siya nga part kung ha, inject no? Basta na yung mga buho-buho niya o in-injection, no? Tanawan na ninyo inyong tapa na basta na ni nang nag illegal drug use na siya through infection baka ko siya hepatitis because naturally the practice of uh, this drug then nga gahatag og injection or drugs through injection isa lang injection ilang gamit para kanid sa tanang individuals nga ilang injectionan so meaning to say kung injection na ako si Ma'am Fernaline na na example si Ma'am Fernaline na ay hepatitis so i injection at using the same needle, using the same injection, no? Possibly si Claudette matakdan. Kay na si Ma'am Fernaline, na siya hepatitis. So, tanang na taga ed akong di-injection and using one needle, kamutanan. Magka-hepatitis, no? Hopefully, di li- ha? Kaya ba tayo PNP, di hiri ka ron nga i-invite, madakpan yun ta, no? So, dapat di li- ha? Di li in ana. Next slide. In the next slide, ma'am. Makita na nato in the next slide. Wow, unsa may baga ani? Unsa man nga baga? Tanaw ang mga bara kuya. There could be lung infection. Ngano man, click pa pa example sa lung infection nga makuha sa illegal drug user. Next slide. Kani unsa man siya? lawas sa tibihon. Na nung magkatibi man dok nga ga, drug use sa gani dok magkatibi na dayon. Yes, because illegal drug use ang paggamit ani nga droga kay nga naman maka-decrease sa imuhang immune system. Though there is increase sa imuhang immune system predisposing your cell to uh, exposure to many infections. Kung ubus ang immune system, wala na yung fight out sa tuberculosis or the mycobacterium tuberculi, no? So, next slide. Next. Next. Click pag yun, ma'am. Okay. So, many. No, this is poker lang kung magamit ka o mga, ili- uh, mga other substances, no? Compared to health liman ng tanaw. Magka-cancer ka, tanaw ang lungs. Next pag yun. No, these are the effects of substance use because again, tobacco, alcohol, and drugs, these are the substances. And the negative coping mechanism or the harmful coping mechanisms of individuals na katong na depressed, na anxiety, na iugubad pang mental health uh, issues mo resort into this unhealthy coping mechanism. Okay? So, lung cancer. Next. Next. So, puro ta pictures ka kay para makita sa mga bata at mga learners. Uy, unsa man gitabuna ni kuya? Pwede siya magka-testicular cancer. Itong mga kusog manigarilyo, no? Na, ikapikapan na niyo inyong mga testicles karon ron. Iba si nananko, na, na, no? Na, kay kuan, testicular cancer. So, these are things, no? Educational materials na pwede na to i-discuss ato mga learners. Kaya lang, no, kung saan testicular cancer, then we can discuss further. Nga nga nung magka-cancer ang usa ka individual na gamit ang substances. Dili lang taga-focus sa drugs, but also sa tobacco and alcohol. Okay? Okay. Aside from testicular cancer, ito, um, makakosmi siya low sex drive. No, ang kani magamit og mga nagkalainan nga mga substances. So wala nay gana, no. So maapektahan gyud ang sex drive nimo. Kung inani na ang uban, no, di, uh, for the men, no, dili na mo salot si superintendent, superintendent dapat tawag ana. Or dili na mo salot si colonel, no? Once magamit ka og kani mga other substances, labi na ka mga smokers, kusog mangyup-yup, 
because there is the the degeneration of your vascular system wala ni blood flow dito sa imuhang wala ni blood flow ka kernel no usa si kernel dili na siya musalot or si general dili na musalot si general okay next slide click pa man click so there, these are other health consequences, no? Risky sexual behavior. If there is risky sexual behavior, meaning to say, unprotected sex, ha? So we are all adults, so dapat nakasabot ta kung unsan yung mga unprotected sex. So, gina-encourage po na to, dapat puan po ta, no? Uh, faithful ta sa ato ang mga partners, no? At that's why dapat ita mo engage ito risky sexual behaviors, Kaya nagkalain-lain individual, si pagkita mo gamit o condom, kung namang ka risky behavior, so makatakod yun, no? makakatch yun ka kung sakit. Next, pa ma'am, click pa. What else can we see there? What are the signs of gonorrhea in men? So, so makita din mo, makakuha kagtulo, no? maunit term na ito, matulo. If these are the other health consequences ka ito makita, sexually transmitted infections or STI, usapan ni ini si gonorrhea, huwag naghan pataglain na sexually transmitted infections na pwede makuha, pwede chlamydia, uh, usapan na kini si gonorrhea, huwag uban pa. Next, pwede HIV, no? Pwede gina na ito makuha. On other, speaking of HIV AIDS, when siya makuha na to, uh, sa other health consequences, kung naate mga risky behavior, and next, katokin yung kaganina nga mga injectable drug use, no? pwede na to makuha. Next. Next. So this is the registry na to sa HIV AIDS, no? Makita na to na nagkadugay, nagkataas ang kaso sa mga individuals with HIV. No? So makita na to average number of people newly diagnosed with HIV per day. Okay? Per day. Sa 2022, this is the latest data kung gipresent ninyo ha? 39 diagnosed per day. Can you imagine? In any, if we live a life full of risky behaviors, risky sexual behaviors, aside sa sexual behavior, kanin mga bisyo na to, no? Kani paggamit sa illegal na droga, so exposing ourselves, imuhang wife, imuhang husband, imuhang children to these diseases, no? Pwede naman yun, dili na to ma-acquire ng mga sakit. Next slide. Okay. It also causes instant death. Nga nung magka-instant death man, next slide ka na, ma'am. Kato akong i-explain ka ganina. Because of the effects of these drugs, mga buto ang imuhang mga vascular system ka, mga kaugat-ugatan sa imuhang heart, magka-heart attack ka. If not, next pa, ma'am. If dili, mga buto, kung sa mani siya, oh, this is a normal heart, this is an enlarged heart. Kasi gig, pas-pas, ugbit imuhang heart, eventually makakos ang enlargement. Next. Aside sa mga buto, ang mga kaugat-ugatan sa imong heart, mga major blood vessels ni mo. Sa pangman, next. Sa next slide, next. Can cause heart attack, ang blood clot ni mo makita din yung mga cholesterol plaques. Kung sa man, mo travel dito sa imong brain, baka cause dayon o stroke. So, mamatay ka o heart attack, mamatay ka stroke, no? So, eventually, ang paingnan na giday na po ano, kamatayon. Mora gini siya, giingon na to. The bottom line here is, mga matay ta, kung magpagamit ta ani, nagkalainain na droga. Next slide. Or other substances for that matter. Ang sa pa may other... Next. O, baka na niya akong giingon yung mga stroke, no? May butong ang imong blood vessel sa imong brain. If dili, ang katong blood clot ang may travel sa imong brain. Pwede kayo nun mag-bleeding ay mong brain na muna ma-stroke. Next slide. There you go. Next slide pa. So, effects on women and teenage pregnancy. Luduk na di epekto dok sa mga babayi? Yes. Sa may epekto, ano niya, ang woman na gagamit o drogas, mo ang saman. Na yung mga birth anomalies, meaning physical attributes sa bata, mga abnormal na. Pwede walay mata, walay ilong, walay bakba, walay dunggan, no? 
etc. No, uh, nakalainain nga mga physical defects sa bata. Next. Unsa pa? Microcephaly. Meaning to say, gamay uko, meaning walay brain, no? Gamay ang brain sa bata, which eventually di, di mo develop, no? Nga bata. Maniluoy kay ang bata, no? Because of your bisyo, imong binuhatan, ang mianto sa consequences is ang bata sa imuhang tiyan. Mo na dili yun. I highly discourage to no, the use of these illegal substances. Ilabi na sa ito mga buros. No? Money epekto sa mga bata. Ganahan ka mo grow up imong mga bata ngayon ani. No? Na yung mga physical defects. Mo ganahan ka mo dako imong bata. Nga na yung brain dako siya. Nga, walay normal functioning sa iyang brain. Because of your actions. No? Kisa may mag-antos. In- ikaw. Because you will take this kid. Nga dako ang taning normal. But because of your bisyo, paggamit sa drugs, nangahimo na hinuong, kung sa manis na collateral sa imuhang actions. Next slide. Oh, lastly and recently. So, you can see, no, the normal heart, the pulmonary hypertension, baka cause ni hapon siya. Next. Ang sama ni COVID-19, makakuha niya pong kag other infections ani sa pag-expose si mo self-self. Pag-smoke-smoke ni mo, pag-inom-inom, o guman pa na makaspread yung niya pong infection. Next slide. O na, ang sana ni Celia, no? COVID patient, yung oxygen na hinoon siya. Next. No siya ga-hyperbaric oxygenation. O, lastly, Maon sa mangka, kana sa siya, oh, kana sa siya, maon sa manta. No, the bottom line, baliko na ko ang bottom line yun sa paggamit sa illegal nga drugs and other substances like alcohol and tobacco, mo gini paingnan sa tanan, no? Kama tayon. Ya, dili biya ganahan mamatay ang tanan mo, di ba? Ya, dili ba dita mahadlok mamatay? Pero nang magamit mata at Lain-lain nga subset The limit In the next I-click pag ito siya ma'am I-click pa ma'am Next slide I-click pa ma'am Kana siya Kato, kato ra ma'am Kaya para makita na itong tanan, giving emphasis on this one. Usa ba ini siya doon? Nadi impact ang yoga sa school. As you can see, no, the chilling consequences of teenage drug use. I think pindot ato ang ipakita sa itong mga sudyante, no? Drug addiction or dependency. Teens who use drugs to develop drug dependency in their adult life. Next is mental health problems sa mga kabataan una na to. The use of mood-altering substances such as illicit drugs can aggravate mental health issues such as depression and anxiety. And we can see this in sa mga mental health problems sa mga kabataan unang karun, di ba? Na ano mga depressed nga mga kabataan unan. Kita sa atong panahon, wala matay inaana, di ba? Pero karun mo rin, daghan na magna-depress na bata. Anxious nga mga bata. And I think we should be keen enough as teachers as nurses sa mga eskwilahan to be really uh, mindful of these changes, sudden change of behavior sa mga bata. Next, impaired judgment. Drug abuse shows down or slows down the processing of information eating decision. Wala na yung saktong dagay sa ngutok ng mga kabataan unang karon, no? Ang ilahang good or bad, di na sila ka hibaw on say good, di sa kaibaw on say bad. And even choices nila altered na kaayo. Next, engaging in risky sexual behavior, the increase of hormones sa mga kabataan unang so mas sila may as agresibo kaayo. All the more, kung magkamit sila ang mga illegal na droga uh, and other substances Senses na readily available like alcohol and tobacco, no? There is poor judgment that can lead to teen losing sight of the consequences of their sexual behavior. Kaya gusto mo sila palami, gusto mo sa gusto ra in ana, no? But neglecting the ill effects of these substances nila. So dapat masabta ni nila nga na ano yung negatibo na epekto sa ilaha. Next, decline in school performance. Okay. Teachers, no? Tanawo na to, ito mga kids. Nga, uy, nga unsa naman yung si Ma'am Fernaline, si Fernaline, si Inday Fernaline. Nga, 
sa una bright man unta kay ni si Inday Fernalin pero kana mura na magkuan na gabagsak-bagsak naman ni si Inday Fernalin sa yung exams no nagibagsak-bagsak kami siya sa quizzes dinu siya mahimong assignment so dapat mahimantay ta anak no kay that is why we have school counselors di ba uh, para pud ato ang ma-assess ang istorya ang atong mga bata sa kanina kalain nila nga negatibo nga performance o sa pa class is withdrawal from family and peers feelings of isolation worsen as teens start to feel inebriated and their thought and emotional processes are impaired they do stop of uh, uh uh, touch no sa ilang family members na ana sila mga lain mga gipang bati na feeling alone no hashtag #feeling alone hashtag #lonely min ana na mga mga thinking sa mga kabatan unang karon next slide next ah okay so again a healthy me is drug free in the next slide I think we're almost done. Next slide. You can see the DH Substance Abuse Helpline. Next, Pagyud. Next. That is the DH Substance Abuse Helpline. This is centralized sa, sa Manila ni siya. Uh, as we speak, we are still developing. It's a region 10 that we will have our substance abuse helpline. But, but you can really call this, no? Uh, this is published no? Uh, nationally. Next. So let us share facts and drugs. Let us save lives. Let us work together towards a drug-free Philippines and a drug-free world. Daghang salamat og mabuhay, Dep Edlanao del Norte. Good morning. Thank you so much, Dr. Tristan for that very comprehensive and very eye-opening lecture. Now we are open for open forum. We are, we are now accepting questions. You can type your questions on the comment section. And for viewers from YouTube, you can still put in your questions and we will read it for you. So while waiting for the questions, may I call in Ms. Catherine Gay Putis to uh, for the citation or giving of certificate of recognition. Thank you once again, Nurse Melin. Okay, so I will be reading certificate for Dr. Tristan. Republic of the Philippines Department of Education. Region 10, Northern, Northern Mindanao, Schools Division of Lana del Norte. The ticket of recognition is hereby awarded to Dr. Tristan Jediah Viado Labitad. For he, he is valuable contribution at, during the National Drug Education Program, Barcada Contra Droga, Virtual Drug Symposium, Team Promoting a Drug-Free Campus and Lifestyle, conducted on October 20, 2022, and given this 20th day of October 2022, Schools Division Office of Lano del Norte, Pigarangan Tubud, Lano del Norte, signed Edelberto L. Oplenarias, CESO 5, the Schools Division Superintendent. Thank you, Doc. Thank you very much, Dep Edlano del Norte. Um, I'll see you soon, no? Face to face, na unta tapohon. Thank you, Sir Ed. Makita tapohon, Sir. Thank you very much, Dep Ed. Okay. Doc, since there are no questions, pero na asilay la ingi type doc. Can they ask a copy? <laughs> Can they ask a copy of your presentation, Badao Doc? Hoy, magayon sa take... copy sa kong slide. Char lang, okay lang magibaw tayo magspread of awareness. Ilabi na sa to mga kabataan unang. Sure. Okay. 
kay ilang reason dok kay mag school based reaction daw sila dok da, 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 da. Okay, no problem, ma'am. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, thank you. So, I guess that concludes your presentation, Doc. I'm more comprehensive, kayo. Wala sila questions. Lagi. Sige, thank you very much, ma'am. Kung may questions, God bless and have fun today. Happy Thursday. Thank you. And now for our and now for our next speaker at this juncture to so furnish our may I call in again Miss Kaput Okay, so for our second speaker for today, he comes from the field of our highly respected and dignified policemen, the Philippine from the provincial headquarters of She was born and raised in Initao, Misamis Oriental. She is a graduate of Bachelor of Science in Criminology from Capital University, Cagayan de Oro City. And back when she was in her university years, she was one of the top students included in the Dean's List. She has been serving with the Philippine National Police for roughly two decades. And in 2019, she was promoted to a police lieutenant position. Presently, she is the designated Deputy Chief for Police Community Affairs and Development Unit in the Provincial Headquarters of Lano del Norte Police Office. My dear colleagues in the Department of Education, please help me welcome our speaker for the campaign against illegal drugs, Police Lieutenant Ruby Galicia Cabilan. Good morning, ma'am. Ruby, I think your mic is mute. Number B. Inaudible, come on, or B. Still, Ma'am Murphy, dili pa di ako madunggan. Can you, Ma'am, madunggan na po, Ma'am? Yes, Ma'am. Madungog na ka ron, Ma'am.
Mamurbi, ma view ni mo ang slides. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Carry on, ma'am. Good morning. It's illegal drug, and it is composed of two parts. Part one is knowing, knowing and avoiding illegal drug, and part two is penalty and punishment. It's totally wrong. Next month, please. Next month. Why should we avoid dangerous drugs? First, it is illegal. Because if there is a law that penalizes it or it is prohibited by law, the so-called RA-9165 or the NAC in Spain, uh, the Comprehensive Dangerous Drugs Act of 2002. Next is health. Uh, it, it damages our brain and our body. Uh, next is psychosocial. It destroys one behavior and causes one to commit crime. And lastly, it is against the will of God. Um, it away drugs. How do the young become drug dependent? Many people get their start on drugs through cigarette, alcohol, and marijuana. What is drug abuse? Of course, drug abuse is chemical substance that brings about physical, emotional, or behavioral change in a person's taking it. It is also any substance other than food or water that is intended to be taken or administered for the purpose of altering, sustaining, or controlling the recipient's physical mental or emotional state. Next month. What is drug abuse? Drug abuse is the use of any chemical substance, illicit or illicit, resulting to individuals' physical, mental, or social impairment. It may refer to any of the following practices. Using without benefit of or prescription, useful drugs which have the capacity to alter the mood or behavior. Using drugs and substance for a purpose different from the one from which the drug has been prescribed and using drugs as substance having no legitimate medical application or purposes other than the research. Origin, there is natural and synthetic. Natural are anything that comes from nature. It is chemical or substance produced by living organisms such as plants, mushrooms, animals, and microorganisms. The most dominant natural medicine source is plant due to their chemical and structure diversity and biodiversity or components. Uh, best example of this is aspirin. Aspirin is from willow tree bark. As we all know, synthetic is anything that is produced artificially or proper processed in laboratories. Next month. There are five class classification of drugs. First is inhalants, narcotics, Stimulants, depressants, and hallucinogens. Inhalants 
are those volatile chemical substances that contain psychoactive vapors producing a state of intoxication. Example of these are glue, adhesive cements, rugby, super glue, and thinners. Next, ma. Inhalers, immediate effects. Prone to bleeding and bruises, loss of memory, difficulty in learning and seeing things clearly, loss of bodily contact, cramps, pain, stuff. Its long-term effects is permanent damage, damage to brain, has withdrawal symptoms, uh, anxiety, depression, and irritability, behavior, dizziness, sh shaking, and nausea. Number two is narcotics. The term narcotics derived from the Greek word referred to a variety of substance that induce sleep. It's which is medically used to relieve abuse. It is causes sensitivity, stopper. Number three is stimulants, also known as uppers. Any of a group of drugs that excite the central nervous system, which is alertness, alleviate fatigue, hunger, and provide a feeling of. Example of this is cocaine and shabu. Next is hallucinogens. Depressants also called downers or barbs. Any drugs or chemical that decreases the activity of a body function. The term is most often used to refer to drugs, the activity of the central nervous system. Example of this is sedatives, sleeping pills, tranquilizers. natural or synthetic proactive drug and perception. This is why people turn to drugs. First is family problems. Parents who always quarrel in front of their children and and responsible parents who do not have time to their children. And is boredom and frustration. Lack of Another reason why people turn to drugs of an inferiority complex. Next month is Mama Claro ang microphone na mo, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ang ma micro Oh, kana, ma'am. Kana. Si. Test mic. Maklaro ang slides, ma'am. Okay, sige. Mauna na siya nga slides, ma'am. 
yung signs of drug abuse na sa palihog, ma'am. Next na, ni ma'am. Ma clear ang slides, ma'am. Na wala imong mic, ma'am. Ani ma'am. Ah yes, ma'am kana. He readily sold or for cash. Support a drug habit. Another common signs of drug abuse. Next, ma'am. Change in mood depending on drug taken. Example, depressant. Another common signs of drug abuse is change. Good feeling. So, niyo ni anihang husband tayo i-turn na lang din ako himbaw ani nga sila dumaan ek common and of drugs is money na akong giingon change sign of drug abuse is poor physical appearance including hygiene. So, matingala na ta. Nalang maligo, balik-balik ng sinina. Ma'am, ang imong audio ma'am kay putol-putol. Dili siya maklaro. Um, I need help. Yeah. Basi niyang... Kana, ma'am. Pero... Balik to story, ma'am. Ibang story. Oh, Amen. Kani, madunggan ako, ma'am. Kana, ma'am. Pero putol-putol, gyapon. Basi niyang mong headset, ma'am. Hindi na ako mag-headset. Madungan ako, ma'am. Kung hindi ko mag-headset. Yes, ma'am. Madungog. Madungog. Ma'am, palihog ko next slide, please. Okay, okay ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Part 2 is penalty and punishment. 
Um, Thoughts about drugs. Getting involved in any illegal drug activities is punishable by law. Thanks, ma'am. And we have commonly violated provisions of RA 9165 and its corresponding penalties. First is provision of RA 9165 is Article 11, Section 5, which is sale, trading, delivery, transportation, distribution of dangerous drugs act. Regardless, regardless of the quantity and purity, the penalty of this is life imprisonment and a fine of 500,000 to 10 million pesos. Thanks, ma'am. Another is Article 11, Section 6, Maintenance of a Dive, Den, or a Resort. This is a one-stop shop illegal facilities that facilitates sailing and use of dangerous drugs act. Kaya nang dinak ni sila gakuan, gahimo nilang drug den ang usaka building, resort. Dili ni siya magmatter, ma'am, kung ang owner kay na siya knowledge or wala. The penalty of this is life imprisonment also and a fine of 500,000 to 10 million pesos. Mix, ma'am. Madunggan ako, ma'am. Ma'am, klaro ka ayo, ma'am. Ma'am? Yes, ma'am. Clear na yung tingog, ma'am. Another provision of RA 9165, ma'am, is Article 11, Section 7. Employees and visitors of a dive in our respect. Uh, Dilig niya po ni siya mag-matter, ma'am, kung ikaw, example na na nauban na, na ganika sa imuhang friends wala kakabalo kung unsay na adin ana so long nga nakauban kanila during the during the raid or the the Next, ma'am, please. Amaw ni siyang pinaka-common ka rin, ma'am, kining possession of dangerous drugs act. Uh, Article 11, Section 11 of RA 9165. Ang threshold niya ani kay 10 grams or more of cocaine, 50 grams or more of shabu, uh, 500 grams or more of marijuana. Ang ihang penalty is life imprisonment and a fine of 500,000 to 10 million pesos. Mauni siya ang perminti na mo gagawin ka rin ma'am position of the Dangerous Drugs Act. Next ma'am, please. Possession of equipment and other paraphernalia for Dangerous Drugs Act. D D dangerous Drugs, Article 11, Section 12. Ang iyang penalty, 6 months to 4 years na imprisonment and a fine of 10,000 to 50,000 pesos. Thanks, ma'am. Another is Section 13, Possession of Dangerous Drugs, Equipment and Other Paraphernalia for Dangerous Drugs During Parties, Social Gatherings, and Meetings. Akani siya kay nag-involve siya of at least three persons. Dayan ko siya, group offense. Siya. Naagya po siya uh, equipment and other paraphernalia for for dangerous drugs. Dayan, usually siya kay mahitabo siya in 
uh, during parties and social gatherings. Ang iyahang penalty ani is life imprisonment and a fine of 500,000 to 10 million pesos. Uh, I see again, it is regardless of the quantity and purity of the, the alleged shabu. Next month is... Next pa, ma'am. Another provision of the law is use of dangerous drugs or Article 11, Section 15. Um, first offense niya is six months nga imprisonment or maximum is 18 months or rehabilitation. It depends on the response ba niya sa kuan ma'am sa ito ang dinakpa na to or su suspect na to. Um, it depends on also on the resolution from the court whether he or she will be rehabilitated or go to jail. A second offense, ma'am, is go on siya. Six, year, six years to 12 years na imprisonment and a penalty of 50,000 to 200,000 pesos. Next, ma'am. Uh, student Council and Campus Organization, it is Article 4, Section 42. Uh, we all know naman, ma'am, no, nga tanang kasagara school kay nag-create naman sila sa kanang ilang mga isip PC or Student Crime Prevention Council. Kana naman siguro ta mga school, ana, nga na anay inani SPPC. And next is kaning sa school curricula. Article 4, Section 43. As much as possible, on tatay, maapil, marag, maapil sa ato ang curriculum ang kaninga subject. Pero, I don't know kung makuan siya. Pero sa kami sa PNP, ma'am, diri sa Lanao del Norte, we are very much willing to conduct information drive. Uh, labi na akong face-to-face -face kay Kabalo Magita nga, hopefully, Eh, kabalo magigita nga pag ina ni virtual, silda magigayo ang musistener o pila ka minutes or even uh, hour na maminaw sa ato kay kabalo man sa ato ang mga learners nga dali ra kay na siya masumhan. So, by God's grace ma'am, kung makuha na gining ato ang hopefully at kinata ang face to face, willing kayo may ma'am mga mukandak o information drives, pinyuhang mga schools, kana ang just invite us. Not only sa drugs, ma'am, ha, maka, maka, yuglain nga mga topics nga related po sa kanaang crime prevention sa ito ang mga learners. Noted po, ma'am. Ma Thank you. Participation of school authorities. This is Article 4, Section 44 sa ato ang, ato ang RA 9165, ma'am. Uh, our school has kanaang full participation, good ma'am, sa ato ang mga learners. So, this would be possible kung ma, ma, malikay or ma-avoid na ito ang ato mga learners. Ani nga kung, kung mag-work hand in hand ta, as what I have mentioned a while ago. Uh, just just invite us, ma'am, then rest assured nga muabot ni sa inyohang invitation sa amua. I noted yes. again, ma'am. Thank you. Who are persons in authority? The scope of authority. Heads of schools and principals in school and its immediate vicinity. And supervisors beyond the school vicinity if attending school class or class functions in official capacity. I'll appeal and teachers. Next, ma'am. What does it mean to be a person of authority? 
a person of authority must first summon the services of law enforcement agencies to arrest, cause the arrest are of students or any person committing unlawful acts of RE-9165. Second is refer students found to be using drugs to proper agency or office, like sa Amu Amam or sa pinaka nearest nga, nga police station where naa sa inyuhang EOR, pwede mo nga modo ulit to any time. Tapos if, if atong mga learners is minor man yod, so first pwede mo nga mo consult sa sa ato ang mga social worker kana ang hesitant gani ma'am kabaluta nga kabaluta nga kana nga bata is na natay full knowledge nga kana nga learner nato is murag na kuan siya sa drugs din yet kana ang denial gani siya we can seek the help of our as uh, kana ang social workers ma para ma para ma address nato ni nga problem sa ato ang learners then also we kaning sa PNP is very much willing to help them. Uh, another is affect the arrest of students or any person committing unlawful acts under 9165. Uh, ako lang po nang i-reiterate nung hanga. Basta mga minor gani ang involved ma'am is we cannot kana ang ginagitang drag them or namang sila yung mga rights. Do kabalutan nga na sila yung na-violate nga Na, na to, uh, we have also to protect their right kana ang um, ilibitaw na to sila nga pwede nga uh, i-interrogate i- in kana sa daghan nga tao sa ilang mga classmate as much as possible kay naasa kana ang close room dayon with the presence of parents or guardian or kung wala dili available a uh, presence sa iya hang elder sister so long as kana dili na minor and uh, dayon Diligid na ito, malintan ma'am nga kuan dapat kung mahitabo na siya is na agi presence always sa ato ang social worker. Kay, do dili man, kaya sa atong natin na nako dito sa Bacolod is na himuot, ay na nakakuan ko dito kay ang mga mga teachers, inanap po na hitabo sa ako ang anak, anak nga, marabito, mahadlok na sila nga mukagali ma'am nga ng mo mukuan sa mga learners nila kay tungod kay naay kana ang naay low nga ga protect depende ra mo na siya sa parents ma'am namang good mga parents uban nga kana ang kana ang murag na gi, gi take advantage nila ang low which is kami po nga police ana social work so dili po mi ana ma'am dili mi bayat wala ko ma'am. Ito na ma'am, may balik na. Hello ma'am. Hello ma'am. Next na ko ma'am. Drugs okay. are the enemies of visions and hope. And when we fight against illegal drugs, we are fighting for the future. Ang laban kontra droga ay laban ng buong bayan. That ends my presentation. Thank you so much, ma'am, for that very comprehensive lecture. Um, requesting our participants to please put in their questions if any are any clarification so that me, ma'am Ruby, might or can, can answer your questions, ma'am, sir. So while waiting for your questions, 
May I call in Ms. Catherine Gay Putis for the presentation of certificate. Republic of the Philippines Department of Education, Region 10, Northern Mindanao Schools Division of Manila Norte. Certificate of Recognition is hereby awarded to Police Lieutenant Ruby G. Cabillian for her valuable contribution as a resource speaker during the National Drug Education Program Barcada Contra Droga Virtual Drug Symposium with the theme Promoting a Drug-Free Campus and Lifestyle conducted on October 20, 2022, and given this 20th day of October 2022 at the Schools Division Office of Lano del Norte, Pigkarangan Tubod, Lano del Norte. Signed, Edelberto L. Oplenaria, SESO 5, Schools Division Superintendent. Tender na mo ni sa Thank you so much. So oh, I guess there are no questions or clarifications. Thank you, Ma'am Ruby, for your time and effort. Have a nice day. To formally close our enriching activity, we shall be graced by an endearing message from our selfless and dedicated dentist of Lano del Norte, Dr. Melvin Inner. Thank you very much to our uh, brilliant MC. Despite the aggressive efforts of the government to eliminate or control the drug menace in our country, still the drug problem remains a threat to our people, especially to our youth whom be considered as the future leaders of our nation. Our in-depth webinar today uh, is just one of the advocacies of the of DepEd for us to contribute in solving this problem. May we in the education sector will not get tired in doing our part because we believe that education and awareness is still the best and the most effective way to counter the drug problem in our country. Again, nagkang kaing salamat sa ato ang mga suki na kayo, mga guest lecturers na to. Dr. Tristan Jelena Labitad from the Department of Health. Dok, salamat na kayo ni mo, Dok. Kung po nilis kayo ni mo, ni mo, Dok. Kung tang ni mo, Dok, sige, hindi ka tawag hatang sa imong time para sa mo. And Police Lieutenant Ruby G. Cabilian from the Philippine National Police. Ma'am, salamat kayo, ma'am, sa imong hang share sa inyong panahon. Uh, kini mga kini sila, mga bisigid ka ini sila but they are giving their valuable time in sharing their knowledge and expertise regarding, regarding the harmful effects of illegal drugs. Thank you also to our schools division superintendent uh, Sir Edelberto L. Oplinaria, our assistant schools division superintendent Ma'am Rosemary Tulud Masesar, RSGD Chief, Ma'am Maria Carmela Tiablin, and also to our ICT personnel for, for the support extended to us uh, in this webinar. To the hardworking organizers of this webinar, headed by Dr. Michelle T. Villes, our medical officer, Sir Dryden Lee Samaniego, our in-depth division vocal person, and to all the health personnel, who in one way or another contributed to the success of this activity, taghang salamat for a job well done. And lastly, to all the participants, ang ato ang mga school heads of mga in-depth school coordinators who joined this webinar this morning, taghang kayong salamat sa inyong panahon o kooperasyon, mga mab o mga sir. God bless, stay safe, and enjoy the rest now of the day. Did 
we want to express our deepest gratitude to our speakers and we would like to thank and commend everyone for participating in this virtual virtual orientation uh, drug symposium. We hope you learned a lot from our speakers and on the other hand we will be ah rather the link for the katame has already been been sent and posted in the NDEP Facebook page. So don't forget to um, answer or fill in the the katami for for the evaluation form for this activity. And don't forget to for those who have not kanang, um, who was not able to do time in, you can do time out. And also the katami for your certificates. So keep spreading positivity wherever you go. Once again, I am Maylin Bitos Tumban. Now, your host for today's activity, now sign. Good day, everyone. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you.